In this demonstration, I'll show you how to sort multiple SQL Server tables at the same time using CozyRack's Sort Plus transformation. First, I want to show you what the data looks like in the two tables that I'll be sorting. So they have five columns that are exactly the same and have the same names and data types and everything like that. And the first column is different. So I'm going to actually remove those when I set up the source components for each of the tables. And that is a requirement that all the columns match, at least the ones that you're passing through or using for the sort. So I'll go over to Visual Studio and I've already set up the OLEDB Connection Manager. And I'll start by dragging the OLEDB source onto the canvas. First one will be used to read the student table. And I'll choose the table that's named students and click on columns. Make sure those are set up correctly and as I already mentioned, I'm going to remove the key column because that doesn't match what's in the other table, the alumni table. And we'll drag this onto the canvas again for the alumni table. And I'll choose the table named alumni here and click on columns and I'll remove the alumni ID from this. So now we just have the five columns that match the students table columns. Now we'll go back up to the grouping of Cozy Rock components and transformations and here's sort plus. And now this is the first table, so the uh, columns from this table are what we're going to be using to set up what columns to use for sorting. So um, we're going to sort to tables. Oops. And Connect both arrows, and now we'll go to the columns. So this column shows the columns we want to pass through from the sources. And over here is where we choose, I'm going to say, sort first based on the city. And there you can see it's going to be sorted in ascending order. And then I'll choose zip. And just to show you that we can do it, I'm going to sort those in descending order. All right, so <clears throat> everything's going to pass through, and uh, we're sorting on city and then zip. Now we just need to feed the results into an OLEDB destination. This will be a combined table. I could say combined and sorted. Anyway, so we connect the arrow and we'll go choose the table that's named combined and click on the mappings so everything is mapped properly. And now it's ready to execute. I just saved it. And over in the Solution Explorer, I right mouse click and click on Execute Package. And it executed successfully. And here you can see it shows 100 rows came from the student table. And you can't really see it because of the arrow, but 100 rows came from the alumni table. And then we had 200 rows fed into the combined table. I'm going to stop execution. Now we're in Management Studio, and I'm displaying the results in the combined table. So this is sorted by city. You can see that as we scroll down. Um, unfortunately, 
there are no records where there's multiple records in the same city, so I can't show you how the zip codes were sorted. Thank you for watching. Are you tired of updating packages because of changing metadata? How many hours have you spent accommodating new source and destination columns? How many nearly identical packages do you have to maintain? Especially when you need to update hundreds of them. Well, you should check out Cozy Rock's Dataflow Task Plus component. Dataflow Task Plus provides the ability to acquire the metadata and map the columns at runtime. You can even use transformations on the data. Just add the changes at the source and destination, execute, and Dataflow Task Plus will handle the process of extracting, transforming, and loading the desired columns from the source to the destination without a need to change the existing package. It works with any standard SSIS Dataflow components, transformations, and application adapters. No more manual package updates. Design your SSIS data flows with Dataflow Task Plus and save hundreds of hours. A vision of completely metadata-driven processing is now possible. Download CozyRock's Dataflow Task Plus from CozyRock.com. It's free for testing and development within Visual Studio. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.